It's Catherine one more time. Sometimes I just can't stop talking. I just can't stop making these little clips. Anyway, you know, I, I did two clips today before this one talking about Christmas with my parents and how my mother was passive aggressive and how I mostly handled it except at the very end. And I just wanted to speak a little bit more on the topic of passive aggression because it's a topic that's near and dear to my heart. <laughs> I don't want it to be near and dear to my heart, but it is because I've experienced a lot of passive aggression over the years. And for people who don't know, what passive aggression is, is when a person does something that's aggressive, meaning they do something um, because they're angry, they're expressing anger, and, um, you know, they're trying to, like, hurt another person. But what makes it passive is they claim that they're not angry and they claim that they're not doing anything to try to provoke or upset the other person. They're just like, oh, I don't know why you're upset about that. So one example of that is my mother's behavior today, which is just another thing in a long series of things my mother does. Um, so like this Christmas morning when she didn't get any Christmas gifts for my father or for me, she was like, oh, you know, the Omicron variant I was worried about, you know, being out in stores and stuff like that. So I didn't do any Christmas shopping. So that's a good example of passive aggression because then if you say to her, hey, mom, I think you just didn't want to buy any gifts for me and dad because you're angry at us for some reason. She'd be like, no, no, no. She'd be like, no, no, no. I was worried about COVID. I was worried about, you know, the new variant. I just didn't want to, you know, put myself out there. So then you're in this weird position where you're like, I can't pursue it further because she'll just keep denying it. She'll just be like, I don't know why you're angry. I don't know why you're upset. So my mother does a lot of that. And like I said in my earlier clips, I let that go. I handled Christmas morning. I did it. It was fine. I was like, I'm glad you like your gifts. It's nice that my father had a couple things for me to unwrap. I was like, it's fine. But then... As I said in my earlier clips, there were other passive aggressive things that she did. Like she ruined dinner. She like not only didn't make spaghetti sauce, she didn't use jar sauce. She just, it was some kind of water with like canned crushed tomatoes. I don't know what it was. But again, she was like just totally denied it. She was like, no, I just made it the same as I always do. So then it becomes not only passive aggressive, but it's like you're supposed to question your own perception of reality. You're like, hmm, it didn't taste like sauce. It tasted like water mixed with some kind of canned tomatoes or something. Like, it's not only passive aggressive, it's gaslighting. It's like you're supposed to question your own concept and perception of reality. You're supposed to be like, it didn't taste anything like any spaghetti sauce I've ever had. But here my mother is claiming that it's the same spaghetti sauce she's made all my life. So yeah, she's almost like not only being passive aggressive, but trying to drive you crazy at the same time. Trying to be like, I don't know, are my taste buds just lying to me? So, yeah, it's real shitty because it's like you can't ever have a real honest argument with the person. Like, they're never going to be like, you know what? I just made this sauce and I didn't get any gifts for you because I fucking hate you and I wanted to ruin your Christmas. Like, they're never going to say that. They're going to be like, 
I made the sauce the same, same as always. They're going to be like, I just didn't go Christmas shopping because I didn't want to get COVID. So you never get to have an honest argument with them. And that's why I started doing these clips. Because I want to express my anger. I want to be straight on aggressive. I don't do passive aggression. I do aggression. Aggression is calling someone an asshole. Aggression is calling someone a cunt bitch. And that's what I do. I do aggression when I'm angry. I don't do passive aggression. I'm just like, I'm pissed and you're an asshole. You're a bitch. And then they love to be like, I don't know why you're saying that. I don't know what I did. Just tell me what I did. Like Jennifer is famous for that. She'd be like, I don't know what I did. Just tell me what I did. Like it's so lucky for me and for Jennifer that we never got together in recent years to like try to hang out because I think I would have beat that bitch in her fucking face. I think I would have just gone like straight on aggressive. But thankfully, we didn't ever try to get together back when we were trying to, like, repair our friendship. But anyway, so yeah, my mother does the whole, like, Jennifer passive aggression. I don't know what you mean about the sauce. I don't know what you mean about no Christmas gifts. I just didn't want to get COVID. Like, she's such a fucking liar. So there were other passive aggressive things my mother did today that were, like, smaller one of them had to do with the laundry. Like, I showed up there with a bag of laundry, which I sometimes do. Not all the time, but sometimes I go there and do laundry. Sometimes I do it at the laundromat. But I showed up there with laundry. And I was like, yeah, I just thought I would do it at some point today. So when I got there with the laundry, she was like coming up out of the basement, which is where the washer and dryer are. So I said, oh, are you doing some laundry? And she said, no. She said, no, I'm not. I was just, you know, I don't know, checking on something in the basement. And it would have been fine if she was doing laundry because I was going to be there for a while. I didn't need to like do it right away. But anyway, I went down there to do the laundry and I opened up the washing machine and there was laundry in there. <laughs> so it's another example of someone like not only being passive aggressive, but trying to make you question like your perception of reality. Like, did I see laundry in the machine? She said there was no laundry in there. She said she wasn't doing any laundry. So what I did was I just put her laundry in the dryer. I put my laundry in the washer and I didn't even say anything to her about it. I was like, I'm just not even going to get into it. And then later I took her stuff out of the dryer and I brought it upstairs and I still didn't say anything about it, but she did see the laundry basket on the table and she was like, Oh, I didn't, I didn't think I had any laundry down there, but I didn't even get into it with her. I was just like, well, there it is. So, but it's another example, like she was trying to provoke me. She wanted me to be like, you said there was no laundry, but you had laundry down there. And then she was going to be like, oh, I forgot. I didn't see it. Like just passive aggressive bullshit. Like just makes you want to slap her in her dried up old cunt face. But I didn't do any of that. I was just like, oh, I just brought up the laundry. And then another passive aggressive thing she did today, like I brought cookies there and I don't want to like toot my own horn, but I'm going to. I made these cookies and they were fucking awesome. I baked them yesterday. It was a new recipe. Never made them. They're great. I love them. So anyway, I brought those cookies there. And my mother kept saying, you know, oh, she made her Danish butter cookies, made the Danish cookies. So anyway, today she was like, you know, I made the Danish cookies, but they're hard. They're hard. So at one point during the day, I was like, you know what? Let me put some of your Danish cookies in a Ziploc bag. And I don't want to forget to take some home. She was like, oh, they're hard. They're hard. So I put some in a Ziploc bag. I tried one. I'm like, it's not hard. 
But again, she was doing that passive aggressive bullshit where you're supposed to like question your own reality, question your own perception. Like it doesn't taste hard, but she said it was hard. I think she just didn't want me to have any cookies. I think she was just trying to hoard the cookies and be like, no cookies for you, Catherine, because you're a bad daughter. You're a bad, naughty girl. But mom, I put some of those cookies in a Ziploc bag anyway, and I took them home. <laughs> so yeah, there was like a series of passive aggressive things today, like the gifts, the sauce, the laundry, the cookies. You know, like, she's so full of shit. She's such a little fucking liar. She lies all the fucking time. Like, those are just examples from today. But she does that shit all the time. Just fucking lies. Lies right to my face. And then if you confront her, she'll be like, Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. Or she'll be like, I'm old. I forgot. She's full of shit. She's a little liar. She's a little passive aggressive bitch. I hate her. So yeah, I don't do well with passive aggression. Like I just like straight up aggression. If you're mad at me, say so. If you want to call me a bitch, do it. Let's call each other bitches. Let's get aggressive. Let's get honest. Let's get real. That's what I want. I want someone who will fucking fight with me. Fucking fight with me. I'll kill you. I'll figuratively kill you. I'm not going to literally kill you, but I will figuratively fucking kill you.